Good morning everybody and welcome to another episode of Finding Our Adventure. Today we have arrived at the Cotswold Live Wildlife Park and Gardens and straight away we are heading down to see the lions because it's a nice sunny morning and hopefully they're nice and active and maybe they'll even give us a roar. And we're just walking past the rhino enclosure and we've heard that there's been a baby rhino recently so maybe we'll get a view of that later but first we'll get down to the lions. lion's pen, den, right now, and the male lion just got up and did the loudest roar. He's just like patrolling around the edge of um, his area and he's telling everybody that this is his area. <laughs> um, and there's loads of like mud marks just here on the glass screen. Um, and they've obviously got up and shown his boss, so they haven't done that yet, but yeah, it's really cool hearing the lion's roar. Set them. <laughs> We're now at the giraffe enclosure and they've got like these hanging branches that they're eating from. There's loads of them, so cool. We've just been watching the rhinos for a really long time because they're just so amazing to watch and there is a little baby rhino, rhino in there. Um, her Less name than a year old. is Molly and she was born in August to um, her mummy which is called Ruby and um, the daddy, what's his name? Monty. Monty. Uh, he's two and a half tons and he's in his own separate little pen at the moment. Uh, to let the mummy and the baby but I think they can go outside um, and they were woken up by the rain and we were just watching the little baby just running around and um, getting all excited about the rain so yeah really really nice wasn't it just watching yeah, them. It was very sweet. Yeah we were just smiling the whole time making like faces going oh! <laughs> and then the other baby that's a little bit older I think it's about a year older was um, showing us such juicy lips it kept like pulling lip oh, faces yeah. out of the cat yeah. at us. It was going mm. <laughs> that was really cute too. So, I didn't know this, you may already know this, but pink flamingos are pink because um, when they're eating, it's a waste byproduct that basically turns their feathers pink. So they're pink from eating their food? So yeah, the more they eat, the more the pink they get. <laughs> made it to the wolf lookout point. We have to be very quiet because um, they're very sensitive to noise and um, they're all, there's a couple just lying um, underneath the trees and uh, whenever I see a wolf it reminds me of um, the movie Fantastic, Mi Mi <laughs> Fantastic Mr Fox, is that what it's called? Yeah. Where they, because um, they like refer to them as, by their Latin names and I think the wolf is Lupus Lupus and does that with, like salute? <laughs> you can salute the wolves then. No, but I just think they're really like amazing looking creatures, and um, yeah, it's really.
really cool to see them in like this, this woodland behind me. So Johnny I'm sure will get some video so you can see them a bit better. Okay, Crazy to think that they used to be native to. Yeah, we're pretty UK. dumb that we um, made these go extinct. They now. were extinct in the 18th century. So they should definitely release these back into the wild. <laughs> We've just got out of the um, insect and like spider area, and there's like <laughs> disgusting scorpions. cockroaches, oh, the scorpions, massive spiders. Oh, Christ. Luckily, none have escaped. But yeah. I used to live in South Africa for a few years, and I hated cockroaches. And they've just got like several different species of like massive, disgusting looking Flying cockroaches. Ones as well. Yeah. No yeah. oh, thanks. <laughs> We've just walked into the walled garden, and there's lots of different animals in this section. We've just seen an armadillo and a hornbill, and um, there's even like these ponds with lots of fishes in, lots of little birds. These are little masked weavers. You can see them flying around in here. So we've just come across the prairie dogs and they are the cutest little things. They make these crazy noises, don't they? They're called, they're ground, they're actually ground squirrels and uh, they're tiny, they're quite tiny and small and they're fluffy and they're going, coming out of these little mounds and they're making these noises. They're like, Pew! and they're just really cute, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> we've just been standing here just watching them. And they're just really, really cute. They got all excited a minute ago, but they've kind of calmed down now. Yeah, we're waiting for them to make their noises again. <laughs> So these are the black cheeked lovebirds and they're very small and they are all in little pairs, they're all like cuddling together and like giving each other a little smooch, it's really cute. <laughs> We've just come into the um, tropical house and it's really nice and warm in here, yeah. there's loads of beautiful little birds walking around and just in the corner over there we can actually see a sloth huddled Spotted in the corner. It. Yeah. And he's got his hands wrapped around, he's hidden by lots of bushes, but I don't think most people have spotted him, so we'll he's try to see if we can get close to him, but <laughs> you can't really get any closer to him, but you can just see him. It's yeah. pretty cool in here. Yeah, it's so cool. It's nice and warm though, so we might just sit in here like for a, a bit. a big greenhouse with loads of greenery just like everywhere. There is also a train that takes you around the park. Um, I think it's closed in the winter months, so I'm assuming it will be open for summer, but I was quite looking forward to going on the train. <laughs> but um, yeah, so if you come here in the warmer, months then you can probably go for a ride on the train. We've had such a lovely day here and the sun has just come out so it's warming us up and we are just loving all the little there's so much to it isn't there I think that we just didn't realize there was there's so many little rooms you can go and have a look at and we just saw a massive anaconda um, and like fruit bats just really really impressed with it all and all the different animals that you can see here. What's your favourite animal you've seen so far? I think the baby rhino has been pretty cool to see. And it's so playful, like there's so they must be like the owners or something were just down there and they're putting their hand through and it was like sniffing their hand and then it was like kicking its back legs to like trying to play with them and stuff, so it's pretty cute. Pretty cute. So we just went inside the giraffe enclosure and there's this there's something you can do here where you can be um, like a keeper for the day. So the, they were giving the giraffes food and literally feeding them by hand. And you could see how long their tongues were. It was really fun to watch, wasn't it? And they were getting really close to them. So that was a really cool experience. So maybe we come back one day and do that. That would be fun. Tell two old ones with the pigs. <laughs> yeah, the bigger giraffes just wanted all the food to themselves. It's about three o'clock now and it's got really quiet because a lot of the kids that we're here on, on in kind of big school trips have gone back to school I guess now so it's really nice and quiet now and um, 
we've just been to see the camels and the lions and now we are going to try and find the giant tortoises if we can and uh, I think then we might call it a day but it's been such a lovely day here uh, especially now that the sun's out as well so you can enjoy it and not get wet and uh, just really really nice place to have a day out. We have had such an amazing time around the Cotswold Wildlife Park and Gardens. It is such a beautiful place and yeah, the staff are amazing, the animals are really nice to look at, great family day to come out to and yeah, we've had a, a wonderful time and I think now we're going to head off to the supermarket to do a bit of a food shop before finding a place to park up for tonight. Good morning everybody. So this morning we have woken up at Cotswold Farm Park and we have actually, we stayed the night here. We arrived yesterday and um, the weather was really bad. It was chucking it down with rain and currently there's um, quite stormy weather, but we've woken up this morning to beautiful sunshine. And um, we're here at this farm because they actually, it's during lambing season. And uh, yesterday we went and saw the lambs. There's only one that's been born at the moment. Um, but we're hoping that there might be a few more this morning when we go and see them. So we're going to go around the farm today, show you around and just enjoy being on the farm. So as I mentioned last night, we stayed here on the farm. So they actually have a campsite which has all the facilities you need. So it's got showers, toilets, um, it's got electrical hookup and water so we're all fully stocked and we enjoyed last night having full power uh, and being able to plug in our laptops and our camera batteries and everything so yeah really cool place to stay really nice campsite and uh, yeah we're really excited to go on the farm on this sunny morning <laughs> So hopefully you can hear me, but we decided this morning we're going to head straight to the lambs because uh, we're really excited to see them. They were born at six o'clock this morning, we were just told. Three new little lambs, so really excited to go and see them. there's three of them and um, they're a lot smaller and the other one that was born about a week ago is a lot bigger but they're just really cute and they're just bundled up in the hay and just sleeping. <laughs> So we've just been watching the sheep this morning and we've learned a lot so the, um, the sheep are being fed silage and molasses so they've got like a really sweet, um, the ones that have given birth are now getting like a really nice nice bit of food and it smells really nice in here um, and it's really nice seeing the newborns so, so there's three of them at the moment and, and because the mum has only got, can only feed two babies so um, one of the lambs is going to have to be fed um, a little bit later on so they're, if they're able to get a mum with a single one then they might be able to um, get that mum to adopt the, the, one of the three, three so yeah are you enjoying it yeah it's really good fun we're just hoping some more good birth today tonight so we can see some more yeah that's what we like we've been sitting in here for ages and we're just like waiting for to watch one maybe give birth so we're just like let there be a little baby be born. We're very excited and it's really nice. They've got like these little um, hay bales that you can just sit on and just watch the sheep. But most of them are just eating all day and sleeping. So. 
So we've just been told that one of the sheep has been making a lot of noise this morning and um, it's showing signs that it's a bit restless and it keeps kind of like digging and um, making a lot of noise, isn't it? So they're saying that it's, it's when the mum is preparing to give birth as well that they talk a lot. So it's like they're talking to their babies, which is really cute. <laughs> so uh, it's one of the pens that's in the ones um, of the triplets. So we're um, hoping maybe we might see one something for later. How excited are you to see a lamb being born today? If we see a lamb being born today, I'm getting pizza this afternoon. <laughs> Should we take our bets on um, how many will be born today? Well, it was a three, wasn't it? So it was one with triplets that's going into labour. And Johnny also, what did you also spot? Adam Henson. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. well, a prolapse. <laughs> sheep. It was disgusting. Yeah, one of the sheep was having a prolapse and Johnny was so scarred he had to go and ask one of the staff that the sheep was okay. I thought she was going to birth, but... <laughs> Yeah, so he's um, a well-known farmer and TV presenter for Country File, and he was actually here this morning um, with the sheep um, in the sheep barn because there was um, some students from I think it's Harper Adams University, and he was uh, getting involved. So yeah, we even got to see him. So one of the staff members has just told us that one of the sheep is stargazing, and it's when the sheep is looking up to the sky and it basically means that the sheep's having contractions so um, very exciting watching this so it could mean that there could be some baby lambs soon. Very excited, I'm like a nervous parent and a new parent. <laughs> There's a lamb that's just been born and one of the staff members has gone to find it. First lamb has just come out and it's just moving around in the straw. So this sheep is um, in the three pen, so one has been born and I think there should be two more uh, on its way out. So the first one was born in the sack and she just had to help it come out of the sack. The second lamb is coming out now, the mum is lying down and um, contractions are starting again so the lamb should be here soon. So the bag has just broken and the second lamb is all its needed a bit of help because it was going out head first and um, so this one of the staff members have just helped pull out the second one and they're waiting for the third one to come out now but it's in the right position. So, the third lamb's just come out. So there are two girls and one boy and they've all been born now. So how was that watching the lamb? That's pretty cool. They um, got the whole experience didn't we? We've got three have been born, we had two of them had to be helped by the um, agricultural team, so yeah that was really interesting and uh, yeah, now that's burned onto my memory, we'll go get some lunch. <laughs> so how do you feel after watching that? It's pretty cool isn't it? <laughs> yeah so we watched three lambs being born this morning. Um, the first one came out really quickly and uh, the staff they didn't they didn't realise it was going to be that quick and then the second two needed a bit of help because the first one its head was coming head first so it needed the legs to be helped to come through as well and um, the same with the third one so really
really cool seeing them being born right in front of you like it's something that you don't see every day so I feel really lucky that we got to see that this morning we've just come to check up on the lambs that were born earlier today and um, they've got a little heated lamp so we're just going to go and have a look now Mum and baby are doing babies are doing well. They're sleeping at the moment. One of them's making lots of noise, but it's getting really windy outside. Um, but it's quite sheltered in here, so they're in the warmth. <laughs> We've just had an amazing time here at Cotswold Farm Park. We've been completely blown away by seeing lambs being born today, which we didn't expect at all. Um, we were told by the staff yesterday that they, weren't, they didn't think they were going to be born for another couple of days, so we feel so lucky that we've been able to see three little lambs being born today. So that will be an experience we won't ever forget. So when we arrived yesterday, this lamb had been born um, about a week ago, and it's the only, it was the first lamb that was born. And then this morning, at six o'clock, three little lambs over there were born. And then at one o'clock today, we got, actually got to see three lambs being born and they're in the pen just over there. So this morning we're actually leaving the farm. Um, the storm that has been coming has blown in a little bit yesterday. There's about 50 mile per hour winds um, yesterday afternoon throughout the night. And tomorrow there's actually gonna be 70 mile per hour plus winds and um, they're actually going to close the whole farm because it's just too dangerous and because of the storm. So we're going to go take shelter at my mum's house and we're just going to go check now to see if any more lambs are being born before we leave. But we've had such an amazing time here and we've been so lucky to see those lambs being born. I hope you enjoyed that episode with the lambs and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below for your chance to win a sticker and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!